evening. How are you guys doing today? What you been up to? I hope you're all doing well. Today, I've been at the garden all day. I had to run in the house and get a shower before I could talk to you because I was filthy. Hair stuck up, full of leaves, dirt, kiwa, cow poo, <laughs> sand, everything I've been doing today. Loving every minute of it. You know, some people are made to be uh, aristocrats and others are meant for working. I love to work. I don't know why. As long as I feel healthy, I just love to be outside pottering about in the garden, doing something. That's me. I, you know, when I was a kid, I loved to be in the woods. Just running around, climbing trees, making forts, swimming, jumping out of a tree into a river. Always. It never changed. The only thing I get a little older, but I still do the same stuff. Let me show you what I've been doing. So I watered in here today. Well, I just turned the pump on and then it pushes the pump, comes through a sprinkler, but everybody's looking happy in here today. This is a jackfruit tree here, it just popped up by itself. So I, just, I was gonna move it when it was like a half a meter tall, but in the end I just left it and then look how tall it is now. It's about four meters up there now. And trimming things that have dead or vines and stuff off of fruit. That's another fruit tree over there, but I'm gonna, it produces a berry. I don't really know much about it. I haven't eaten them. So I'll have to learn what it is first. So I've been speaking to the guy down the road who uh, cuts trees and he uses the, the wood to make um, charcoal and they use that for cooking. So I spoke to him and asked him, does he want these trees? And he's, yes, yes, yes. So he's got to fix his chainsaw. And um, once he's fixed the chainsaw, he's going to come take them down for me. There's this one big one here, a middle one, and some two sprawly big ones in the back. So they take an area of about, um, you can see in there, maybe, uh, I don't know, 25 meters square, something like that. So I figured if he takes them out of there, it can get them down without wrecking the place. I want to plant lots of fruit trees in there. So I'm going to have to, you know, I've got um, all kinds of fruit trees around the back that are started from seeds. Remember I told you, if I ever get any fruit, I eat the fruit, what seeds are left, I just throw them under a bush. Why? Because then they, you water the bush and they get a little bit of water and then next thing from a seed you have a fruit tree. So then I take that fruit tree out and put it somewhere. So I've got fruit trees everywhere now just by that. So. This one, I forget the name of the, the fruit. It's the brown fruit. It actually tastes like cinnamon. I told you about it many times before. This one hasn't produced any fruit yet, but it's coming up to two meters tall now. Well, two meters 20, something like that. So I've got lots of fruit trees at different growth heights or all around the place, but nowhere to put them. So I'm thinking you put them over here, they'll get sun. They can grow, maybe they take two or three years, but they'll, they'll produce shade. The shade that these trees produce, I never go over there anyway, so it's not really affecting me. But once they grow big, then the woods will have shade underneath again, but I'll have fruit. So I just think, uh, you know, the more fruit trees, the better. Something else I was doing today is taking care of the pineapple plants. They're doing really well. They, you know, they sometimes they look raggedy, sometimes they look good. But you know, they start to grow. They're, they're busy this time of year. So, um, you know, I, you gotta be super careful when you weed them. Because these things are, the pineapple leaf, it's got uh, like little tiny teeth all down it. So when you're trying to grab something like a weed or something, and you touch any part of the plant, it'll shred your fingers for you. So I've developed a new approach. What I can cut with, um, you know the, you've got rose clippers and then you, well, scissors, rose clippers, rose clippers, and then you got the the loppers for c cutting branches. Well, I use them, so I, I can get my hands in there and uh, without getting eaten. So that's the way I weed them. Yes, I can put a sweatshirt on and gloves on, but I don't. I'm not putting a sweatshirt on here, no way. So I just cut them with the lopper and then uh, pull everything out. 
but the soil was looking dry and poor so what I did was um, today I put a bag I got a bag of peat and put it spread it amongst them and then put some uh, kiwa on them cow poo you on can them. see when you look at the plant you see it's a green color you see that's one plant there was well, three plants in a little pot I might have to put him in the ground but you see that color green and then look at this one you see it's a little bit red so normally when it's red if you look inside you see a flower so you look inside here there's no red flower yet so how do you get in there without getting your fingers eaten well I've got a electric blower so I just come over and blow it and blow all the leaves out of it as they fall down here's one that's going red look inside there's a spider's web there look inside nothing and there's another one that's turning red and when you look inside what do you see you see the start of a pineapple one pineapple so I weeded the best I could without getting my fingers eaten put some peat in some cow poop on top of it and give it its watering for the day and it's looking happy you can see how the leaves all fall inside there but I never try to get them out never I'll blow it with the blower to get them out but I'm not gonna put my fingers in there but that's how I found this one today this is a that's how I found this one today a big pile of leaves on top they fall out the trees so I blew it with the blower and we have a pineapple on the way so these will do the same in a few days maybe a week or two all the ones that are turning red if you were here last year the one on the right give me a pineapple last year I was gonna try to cut it back but I just thought just leave it alone it'll die back naturally but the one on the left is a new one that's come up from last year so all these plants now these are the second year so they've done different things you know um, like this one here the plant has died off you see the left side well that one I cut the pineapple off and it died back and a new one come off the side see that this one turned into two this one here if you look at the bottom part of the plant is last year's um, pineapple but then two came out of the top of it bizarre eh? so if you see this one the bottom part of the plant is last year's and the top part is this year's not grown as fast but they really like to be out in the direct sun so as long as you feed them about I mean I feed them maybe twice a year but water them about at least once or twice a week they're a bit like a and I said this last year about pineapple they're like a cactus family and no they're not they're, no, 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 no. I could say something I could say a tree is green and somebody you know like the car, I did the car thing yesterday the electric car and then somebody <laughs> hydrogen fuels like <laughs> so whatever you say is wrong but I'm gonna keep saying what I think is right so I feed them about once or twice a year and then um, water them probably twice to maybe three times a week it depends on the time of year in the hot hot summer then you have to water them more but even now it's hot so today last few days right this is um technically still winter april is a hot hot summer but it's so dry no rain at all for days so every so many days you just have to soak everything so that it doesn't die so news update pineapples are doing well and the bananas are doing well so today i tidied up down here got all the old stuff out of the way moved it away but left it here so when it rots and turns back into dirt it'll just roll down the hill and fill up the hole but it's got one baby on the left and two over there on the right so these are doing well and the rest of the bananas are all doing well too so if they move these trees behind I can plant the trees that I have around the back in pots and um, in the ground still but they're getting to like they need to come out to be repotted so farmers over here are making a noise again every day doing something 
they're pumping water out of that big old pond over there because somebody bought that property. So he's trying to get it empty for him. But I think it's going to be a nightmare to do it. Okay, guys, time to sign off and say good night. Look after yourselves. Buckets of blessings. Rivers of peace, joy, and kindness. I really hope you're doing well. I hope you find something to smile at. Look after yourselves. All the best. Good night from here. See you in the morning.